sent me the link to her video, her apology video, and I didn't respond back to it because I was just, I was shocked. In Maui, we just saw a whale. I'm not talking about your Japan. To be friends with someone, like smile in their face, invite them into your house, and then talk crap about them, like that's so inhumane. Trisha was a joke to Colleen. I feel stupid, I feel stupid. Colleen Ballinger is disgusting for her past behavior. Not only is her ex-husband speaking out against her, but now her friends are realizing how bad she is. Trisha Peta says that she will never associate herself with Colleen again. And now it looks like Colleen is all alone and forced to face her victims. So let's get into it. The internet has been dragging Colleen Ballinger as they should because she's done a lot of damage throughout her career. I mean, recently she and another YouTuber, Trisha Paytas, launched a podcast together and at first we thought this was a good idea because they seemed like genuine friends, but Colleen is far from genuine. I know Trisha Paytas is problematic, even though I would love to have her on my podcast series, but she does not deserve what Colleen did to her and how she spent spoke about her body. I feel really bad for Trisha because it seems like her entire life she has struggled with her body and accepting it and to have a close friend go on and talk badly about her in this way just seems like such a stab to the back. Trisha Paytas just came out against Colleen Ballinger. For those that don't know, both Trisha and Colleen recently started a podcast together. Well, Colleen was just accused of doing some inappropriate stuff with people who were not of age. And these allegations have been out for a little bit now and Trisha was silent up until now. Basically, Trisha said that she was unaware of the allegations against Colleen until recently. Trisha also said that she was shocked by Colleen's infamous ukulele video. Trisha also said that she does not stand behind Colleen whatsoever. She also said that Colleen's video was not an apology, and she added that it took away from the severity of what Colleen allegedly did. So let's talk a little bit about this podcast series they had together because it didn't last for long. The title of the podcast was Oversharing and Colleen probably didn't share enough because people did not realize how bad of a person she was and how this Miranda Sings character is just so wrong. I actually did watch one episode of the podcast, but to be honest, it wasn't my favorite and it could not compare to Frenemies. I fully faked the cinnamon challenge. Oh, because I heard people died from that. I was so scared to do it. Cinnamon challenge. Yeah, well, when I did it, it was like the very beginning of it. It was before everyone was like, this oh. is dangerous. Don't do what it. What did you do? What, what did you I make used it? cocoa powder. It looks like cinnamon. Oh. And I just put, I filled a cinnamon thing with cocoa powder, like Hershey's cocoa powder. Is something burning? It does smell a little burny. Burny town. Like it's like, it's like burny popcorn. Just so you guys know, I need you to know that we took a pause because we thought the house was burning down. Now let's talk about Trisha's response to this entire situation because Colleen has been getting called out time and time again. It all really started with Adam McIntyre who came onto my podcast to share his story. But once we started to see messages of Colleen speaking about Trisha and her body and her OnlyFans, Trisha decided to respond. Now I do think it's interesting that Trisha waited until, you know, Colleen was talking about her to really say anything. Thing, but I'm sure she just didn't want to get involved. And to be honest, her video does seem authentic. I mean, she seems genuinely hurt. Trisha uploaded a video titled Colleen, where she claims that she was unaware of the allegations made against Colleen, which is kind of like BS. Can I say I never wanted a chapter in my life to be over faster than this, even though it was a very small, quick chapter? Like, I mean it, okay? Like, I mean it. This was a lot. It's been a lot the past week. It's been a lot the past month. Like, it's a lot. It's a lot to take in. It's Everything I feel like is just surface level and everything I've talked about and discussed and why it's like so personal to me and why I do take it personally and why I was quiet for a while. And then I say something, you know, like there's so many personal, personal reasons. The hate that I even had to make it like that's, that's the very last thing I want to do, which is very personal to me. We'll just put it that way. Very, very personal. And I like I didn't know I was so triggered. OK, I didn't know I was so triggered. Um, uh, in this whole situation, you know, it's, it's, it, it really is. 
But she says, I wasn't aware of these most recent things that are coming out. Everyone knows that I have a very, very, very firm stance on talking to anyone under age, platonic or not, which Colleen has done a few times now. She sent me the link to her video, her apology video, and I didn't respond back to it because I was just, I was shocked. <clears throat> the fan said, hey, congratulations on becoming parents, which a month later she just responds with a, a nude of me and says, you look so pretty in this. And these weren't a long time ago. This is someone well into their 30s just gave birth sending nudes. Trisha was quoted saying, I don't stand by Colleen whatsoever. Her video was not an apology, and it took away from the severity of her actions, which I totally agree. If you did not see the video where she's playing a ukulele, and it's just so dismissive of the entire situation, it kind of shows me that Colleen is truly mentally ill. Trisha said, these people are speaking up, and they're uncomfortable for a reason. Acknowledge it, change it, and do better and you know it's bad if trisha is embarrassed to be associated with someone because trisha is kind of an embarrassing person i i mean i love her for that but she you know she's cringe so if she's embarrassed to be associated with colleen then that speaks a lot on you know who colleen is as a person i'm i feel i feel stupid i feel stupid and i and i rarely feel stupid okay i really feel like I feel like I'm a pretty good read at people. Like it's, this is all very embarrassing. It's very embarrassing at the end of the day. I don't get embarrassed by many things. Like obviously um, the podcast ending after three episodes is like embarrassing. Us doing all this is embarrassing. It's just, it's, it's, it's all, it's all embarrassing, you know? Um, and I, it takes a lot for me to get embarrassed, but also this whole situation, just this whole, well, Praying it's the end of it. Praying it's like the end of it. It's, you know, it's as far as I, I feel like I said my piece, that's it, but. And to see these old clips of Colleen talking about Trisha, it's so sad because at this point, like Trisha thought she was friends with this person, yet Colleen just spent her entire time laughing at Trisha from the sidelines. And Maui, we just saw a whale. We saw a whale. We saw a whale tail. And I'm not talking some girl whose song is hanging out of her pants. I'm talking an actual whale tail. Yeah, we just can't swear. And I'm not talking about Trisha Paytas. I'm talking about a whale. To give you guys some further context, Colleen was caught up sending minors pictures of Trisha in inappropriate settings and making fun of her body and talking badly about her friend, which is just really gross as a friend, but as a person. I mean, what 30 year old is over here body shaming people on the internet and messaging kids about it? And thank God this previous fan, Johnny, came forward and shared these messages because Trisha maybe would have continued this series with someone who's, you know, completely fake to her. Life does not... Oh my God. Oh my God. Colleen appeared to send unsolicited photos of Trisha to Johnny. Adam McIntyre later revealed that he also received these pictures and messages from Colleen, and he was a minor getting these photos from Colleen of Trisha, and it's just really gross. I mean, these parents also need to check their kids' phones because this is next level. I just think this is messed up to be friends with someone, like smile in their face, invite them into your house, feed them, and then not only talk crap about them, but do what she did. Like that's so inhumane. There's no, no, no justification for that at all. We're gonna have to censor some of these, but here are some screenshots where you can see Johnny came forward and shared these pictures and it's really gross. I mean, she writes, <laughs> OMG Johnny, you look so cute today mm, with a picture of Trisha. Someone named Becky wrote on Twitter, bro, this is legitimately horrifying that Colleen was doing this and even continued to do it after her son was born. You'd think that motherhood would maybe change Colleen, but she's so sick as a person that there's no changing her. I mean, at one point, I guess Johnny reached out and said, you know, congrats on having your baby. And she replied with a photo of Trisha. I mean, the mental health is mental health in here, and I don't even know really what she's sick from, because this behavior clearly isn't okay, but, like, is she narcissistic? Like, I, I, I just don't even quite understand 
you know how to explain this and i think that's why the internet's so upset because nobody can really explain why colleen is behaving this way somebody wrote on twitter can't help but to feel sorry for trisha having your quote friend mock you and your body to other people and finding out right after you start a business with that friend nonetheless another person writes for colleen to do this to trisha or anyone and to play in their face with her for years and even do a podcast with her is actually plain evil last night the text um the text messages were shown and it's very clearly from Colleen to a fan has over half a million views on Twitter that I'm um, not embarrassed by. I'm embarrassed for her. I try to take myself out of these equations when I'm feeling triggered and if I were to look at it as it happening to someone else, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be humiliated for the person in the photos. I'd be humiliated for the person who sent them. Um, although it can be humiliating for the person in the photos as well. If you guys haven't seen Trisha's response, I definitely recommend going and watching it because it does seem like Trisha's grown up a ton. According to Trisha, she did confront Colleen about this, but Colleen denied it. Colleen said, no, he was a fan. He would send photos to me. He was obsessed with you. And once in a while, I would respond. But that's not true because the fan didn't send pictures to Colleen. Colleen sent pictures to the fan. It was very one-sided. Trisha was a joke to Colleen. It was a very commonly known thing. Colleen used to always talk about the fact that she wants to befriend Trisha because Trisha is a joke to her and Corey specifically. So they enjoy being able to have Trisha at arm's length. But I remember multiple conversations where Colleen said that, you know, her biggest fear would be one day Trisha exposing her. And so they need to be always nice to her. Trisha noted that she's not embarrassed by these photos, but rather Colleen, quote, these weren't a long time ago. This is someone well into their 30s who just gave birth sending and a month prior, I was in her house meeting her newborn and doing a mukbang with her. Trisha also added that she will never speak on Colleen again. She does not exist to me anymore. Good for Trisha. I will never speak on Colleen again. She, she just does not exist to me anymore. And this is not me canceling her. She'll always be around. She'll always, I'm sure she'll be fine. Just publicly disavowing any association I have with her. And this entire situation definitely doesn't help Colleen's case because maybe Trisha was going to be the last person standing on her side. But after this, there's no one who can stand up for Colleen. And to be honest, I'm glad the entire internet is so aware of this and seeing all of this come to light because with so many bad influencers out here, I mean, Colleen's truly got to be one of the worst we've ever seen. It also seems like this could be illegal. It could be revenge, P-O-R-N, the act of posting someone's intimate photos online without their consent. Trisha does explain that these images were behind a paywall on her sites where users 18 plus had to pay to view them. Colleen has sent these explicit materials to fans, including one minor, Adam McIntyre, without Trisha's consent or knowledge. Like known each other for so long and I feel like people are like, you never keep friends. I'm like, that is not true. I have Colleen and Joey, I did a fast food mukbang with him last year. Like I had, yeah. you know what? There's like the people, I don't even know how to say this, but like, you know, people, I don't know, some people you just click with, right? Yeah. There's nothing, like you and Joey, there's literally nothing problematic about you guys in real life or anything. That's why I like gravitate to you guys and I was like so surprised you guys stayed friends with there me. There is, but at no, least, no, no you're not. Not. you're not. You're not problematic at all, even in I real life. I definitely have problematic moments, but like I feel like I can, I try to like be like, oh, what did I do that was problematic? How can I fix fix it? And yeah. I try, and I feel like you do too. Yeah, like, I feel like we're similar that way. Cause like, I'm, I'm like you said, non confrontational you can see in that moment that Colleen even knows that she's problematic. She just also knows that Trisha is completely unaware. And now a lot of different people are coming out and speaking about Miranda Sings, Colleen Ballinger, and her ex-husband has something to say about the grooming. People were speculating that they were gonna, have, like, were divorced. Um, there was like a rumor about it. So of course, in true Colleen Ballinger fashion, she gaslit all her fans and did this when obviously a divorce was incoming and she, you know, made fun of all the people who were saying that. 
This is Colleen's ex-husband. His name is Josh, and he joined the conversation in support of former fans. What's funny is that everyone in this Twitter thread is like, I, I knew it, I could smell it. She was always a scary, evil woman. And I remember watching her relationship videos with Josh and I never, I just thought that they were like in a normal, healthy, happy relationship. I knew they fought just like everyone else fights and they talked openly about that. I actually really appreciate his statement. He said, anyone feeling hurt and gaslit right now, my message to you is this. Your experiences were real. The proof is there. Your trauma should be taken seriously. The proof is there. Your anger is justified. The proof is there. You deserve better. Take your power back. Ooh, can you imagine your ex-husband like speaking on you like this? He said, this behavior was my reality. Anytime I spoke up and disagreed with her actions and rhetoric during 2009 through 2016, I was gaslit too. I was made to feel like I was always the problem. Any pain I felt was an inconvenience and was belittled. Every ounce of what you're feeling, I understand. He says, I have no desire to use this as a catalyst for a YouTube comeback. It's not a safe place for me. I'm past that. My voice is only here to help validate those who are and nothing more. I have no need to make any money off of this. That is gross and not in my heart whatsoever. I think a lot of people expect him to talk about it because he was connected to her for so long. What I will say is that her apology video or her song or whatever you want to call it um, is so textbook narcissist, like zero accountability. Like, and again, these are not just hate comments. These are like, uh, accusations that should be taken very, very seriously and responded to appropriately. Now, another Colleen scandal I'd like to talk about is the blackface situation, which turns out to be, I guess, greenface. Colleen's team hasn't responded to anything besides these blackface allegations. There is a clip going around of Colleen performing two single ladies, and supposedly it was after she did a Wicked set and she had green face. But if you guys don't know what blackface is, it's a very disgusting act of like a white person dressing up as a black person and acting as one. And it's really like not the vibe. Uh, this clip of, you know, Colleen performing single ladies, it does seem like she's participating in this. <laughs> I think it's really interesting that like out of everything that has been said, this is the only, only scandal out of so many that she decides to respond to. The law firm said that she painted her face green like a witch. After that number, she went into single ladies. Um, actually, her lawyer, I think it's Andrew Brettler, is the same guy who threatened me with, uh, with Drake Bell and Bob Saget. We also, ooh, was it Scooter Braun as well? Yeah, no, no. Was it Scooter Braun? Hmm. No, it was Brian Singer. There's been a bunch of people where we've had interactions, and actually her lawyer is one of the nastiest, snakiest, horrible lawyers out here in Los Angeles. So, perfect client. Perfect clientele for the Brettler lawyer. But this isn't the first time that Colleen has been caught up making inappropriate comments about race. She's made videos making fun of Latino women. She has apologized for this, but you know, doing it in the first place speaks a lot. She works at the drive-thru at Del Taco. You know how the boys go loco. Uh, uh, you can tell that she's new when she's working the drive-thru. Uh, uh, she'll press the buttons and make it go months. Uh, uh, she puts all the beef in the rice, oh, and then all we go and catch the mice. There's also really weird moments of her on tour, which she is currently on tour right now. I have no idea how this tour is going to continue. I feel like Adam McIntyre should just take the tour because he's been on his own media tour talking about this. There's no reason she should go and do these shows. There's one really gross moment where Colleen actually calls a fan onto stage and she is standing over a teenage girl who's lying on her back. The girl had been called up to participate in a yoga challenge and Colleen pushed the girl's legs as far apart as she can. A fart noise is then played over the speakers. Now a woman named Becky says that she's the girl in the video and has shared a screenshot of the moment her legs were forced to be open and she's trying to call out Colleen for this, which uh, can you imagine being like a kid and having your parents there and then being put on the stage and having this woman like spread your legs? Very inappropriate. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Becky says that she was 16 at the time of the incident, and she claimed that she was left traumatized for years after this. She was quoted saying, I've been debating posting this picture, but this was me on stage. She encouraged her fans to wear revealing clothing so that we'd get called out on stage. Then she exploited us and our bodies for her own gain. She said not only was this entire situation with the position very embarrassing, but the farting thing was embarrassing too. It's like she just wanted to make these people feel bad about themselves to like gas herself up on stage. Becky was quoted saying, if you're watching this and you're thinking about taking your kids to a Miranda show, I would advise for you to think twice because you may come back with years of trauma. I love that she's speaking out and there's so many people who are validating each other's experiences. Like this is why I love the internet. Like kind of gives me like the Me Too movement, but it's like the Me Too like Colleen version. Um, one person replied, I'm sending you so much love right now and to all the victims that haven't come out yet. Whenever you're ready, there are thousands of people here to support you. It makes me emotional because I'm actually so glad that these people are speaking out and there is there's like, you know, support and you know, we're all acknowledging how wrong this woman did so many people. I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Here's my email if you have any other video ideas for me and I'll see you in a new one soon. Bye guys.